Um, so why should young people vote for Labour? I think there were some young people, many young people who voted Liberal Democrat at the last general election, including here in Eastleigh, and they voted Liberal Democrat because Nick Clegg made a promise. He said he wouldn't increase tuition fees, and he broke that promise. And on the economy, the VAT rise, look at what happened to youth unemployment when the government, the Liberals and the Conservatives abolished the Future Jobs Fund. I think what we've got to do is win the argument that if you actually want um, a decent deal for young people on jobs and on tuition fees, then um, I'm afraid the Liberal Democrats have lost trust and we're going to um, show we've got a better alternative. And what is that alternative? Would you not raise the fees to well, um, we've said right now we wouldn't go ahead with a corporation tax cut for banks and we would immediately cut the, court, the tuition fee down by £3,000. Um, we'd like to look at more radical reform than that. I think it's fair for young people at university to make a contribution, but I think it should be done in a fair way and not in a way which puts obstacles to going to university in the first place. That's why I've always been more attracted to a graduate tax, as has um, Ed Miliband, uh, the, the uh, leader of the Labour Party. That's something which we're looking at. but. Um, I think there are many young people who feel very badly let down by Nick Clegg. Um, and it's, it's okay that you're here, but board factory closed. Um, is this something that you thought could be controlled better? I don't think um, governments can stop every company making every uh, decision. And the car industry has done well in the last few years, partly because of the support Labour put in place through our active industrial policy. But um, you know, these companies, they make changes and the, the, um, the world's been in a bad state. The British economy is in a particularly bad state and um, the Eurozone as well. So the important question is, um, can you get in place the support, the retraining to help communities adjust? That used to be done by um, the Regional Development Agency here in, um, in, in, in Eastleigh and, and more widely in the south of England. But uh, the government abolished the Regional Development Agency, put nothing in its place. I think that was one of the most short-sighted decisions of the Parliament.